You may know him from All My Children, Alvin and the Chipmunks, or from his breakout single, Beautiful Soul. Jesse McCartney sat down with ABC's Rhiannon Alley to discuss life, love, and his new music. Jesse McCartney, welcome. Thanks, Rhiannon. How are you? I'm fantastic. Nice to be here with you. Okay, let's talk about this because 20 years ago, you couldn't turn on the TV, you couldn't turn on the radio without seeing you everywhere. What over the years has been the biggest challenge going from that teen pop star to the musician, to the man, the actor you are now? The biggest challenge? A lot of it was the early you know, regular teenage struggles, battling things like acne and <laughs> puberty uh, in the, you know, on camera and in the public eye. I think I just feel more settled now than ever. So Would you say you live a pretty normal life now? I mean, define normal, <laughs> but I, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with where I'm at. I feel like at peace and settled and I en still enjoy making music and traveling and touring and having this career, but it's not always the most important thing now. I think my priorities have changed. Now let's talk about some of these huge hits you have. Uh, beautiful soul. I don't want my love to go to waste. I want you and your beautiful soul. That was 2004. Yeah. And Bleeding Love, yeah. that song was everywhere performed by Leona Lewis. Yeah. Keep bleeding, keep, keep bleeding love. It reached number one. When you were writing those songs, did you know you had hits on your hands? No one ever knows that they have a hit. And if they tell you they do, they're lying. <laughs> because if, if someone had that magic chip, they'd be uh, the biggest thing in music. You have a good sense of what's what's gonna work and what's good, and sometimes it's great and sometimes it falls flat. Bleeding Love was one of those like rare moments and you write something, it sort of sits around for a while and then gets picked back up uh, by another artist. Uh, that song changed everything for me as a writer. You have a new song and a visualizer with Young Gravy, it's called Make a Baby. Yeah. Let's show the audience. <laughs> I want it all, it's tasty, I eat it up. The video is really funny, actually. You guys are kind of cosplaying dads. Yeah. You mentioned your wife, Katie. Does she inspire songs like this? This song came from actually trying to start a family, and which we're in the process of now. It started as like this serious thing and then quickly became this sort of jokey, corny little pop tune that I think is relatable for a lot of people and pokes fun at like how unromantic it can be sometimes trying to start a family at weird hours of the night. You ready to be a dad? I think so. <laughs> I was kind of terrified of keeping something alive uh, <laughs> just in general, but I think I can do it. Let's take it back. You were a child actor. You started in All My Children yep. on ABC. Look, girls, I can't go anywhere. I'm here all day with this community service stuff. And also, uh, you've done a lot of voice acting. Uh, you were Theodore and Alvin and the Chipmunks. Are you awake? I am now. I had a nightmare. Any more acting in your future? Definitely. I love all aspects of performing. I think music sort of, uh, be, you know, took the forefront of my career, took the driver's seat. But I still love acting. I love voice acting. Alvin and the Chipmunks is one of my favorite gigs, just because you don't have to go through hair and makeup. You can just show up in your pajamas and, <laughs> and record. I'd love to do some sort of sketch comedy thing. So maybe after this tour, we'll start working on that. Do fans still recognize you from All My Children? I'll be in a like a department store and. I never know what it's gonna be, right? Like sometimes, I know if it's like a young child, it's the Alvin and the Chipmunks thing, or if it's a young girl, it's a music related. It's just fun to meet people who have sort of been introduced to my career in, in different places. There's been so much talk recently about child actors and all the things on set and yeah. uh, with fans. And what was your experience like? I remember feeling a little overworked <laughs> as a child, you know, mm -hmm. you're supposed to have like certain amount of hours you can work. I think there was just less accountability then and it wasn't talked about as much. It's nice that it's coming to light and that people are being held accountable. And But thankfully, you know, I had a great family. I had a really great team, still have the same team for like 20 plus years and they always had my best interests. Do you attribute your strong village for how you turned out? You're living a normal life. Yeah, I, 100%. Every teenage person is going to mess up or fail or do something wrong. and. Uh, mine just happened to be in the public spotlight. Thankfully, I did have this team of people that were just no people that wouldn't, um, weren't afraid to say no to things or tell me no. We are so happy to see you doing so well Thank and you. back on stage. Thanks so we much. We are thrilled to see it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Our thanks to Rhiannon. Jesse McCartney's All's Well tour is happening now.